Hi guys, Horse Trader here. Today we're going to talk about logins and session management. So there are three types of logins. The first is our non-interactive login, which is a bot application most likely. And then our second and third are our interactive login desktop application and then interactive login API endpoint. So as you can see on the screen, these are pretty much what they're referring to. So really the more applicable use case of these would be for the non-interactive login, you have a bot maybe that's opening through a third-party application, or perhaps you have a bot that's set to run every day at 7 a.m. or something like that, and you're not actually there to log in yourself. That's when your non-interactive login would be used. The other two cases, perhaps as it implies, you've created a desktop application from which you're calling the API functionality. In that case, you would use that method. The API method, again, is similar. Maybe you're wanting to log in through a website or you have some kind of weird Microsoft Net application that you want to log in through. But these are just three of the methods that you're going to use to log into your um, secure API. So this is all made on OpenSSL technology, which is basically a technology that allows secure communications between computer networks. So the HTTPS uh, protocol is all based on OpenSSL. So how we actually want to get um, our non-interactive login working is through certificates and keys. And that's really what the OpenSSL facilitates. So the practical part of getting these, we're going to download this XCA tool. The link will be in the description. I've already downloaded it and installed it. So we'll go ahead and get right into it. So first thing first, we want to create a database. Test DB, classic naming. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. All right, now we're going to want to create a key. So obviously, we just go to new key here. We'll call it client 2048, RSA 2048 bit, create. Nice. We then want to go to our certificate signing requests. New request. We want to ensure this is SHA512. And we want to ensure that this is set to CA. And then we want to click apply extensions. We then want to go to subject, enter some of this auxiliary information. You can enter the country name or whatever, I don't believe it matters. Then we have to make sure that key we just created is selected down here. If yours does not appear, just click used keys to and it should be available. So after that, we want to go to extensions. We want to make sure that certification authority is our type. And everything else here is good. So we're just going to click OK. And now we need to get our certificates. So we go to certificates, new certificate. And in here we want to go to subject tab again. What did I call it actually? I can't remember. Was it test app or test app one? Let's have a quick look here guys. Test app one. Test app one. See my key is not available here. So we just got used keys to client 2048. Excellent. We will go back to our source tab, sign the certificate request, test app one, correct. We will untick this, SHA512, and then we want this to be our HTTPS client. So once we have these entered, we want to click apply extensions, and then we're going to just double check everything again. Extensions, oh, we're going not to find, sorry. And then we are good to go. Go OK. Signed, that's what we want to see. So now we have all of this information and these certificates and these keys. We want to export them. So that's rather simple. We'll just export everything to the desktop for now. 
desktop. There it is, and then we want our certificate as well. Uh, export. And that's going to go in desktop also. So it's important to note with these um, file extensions, which ones are relevant. So our security certificate is what we're going to put on our Betfair uh, website. And this key is what we're going to point at when we go to go our authentication request. So PEM is local and our CRT is going to go on the website. Account details, my security. Once we're in here, we want to go to edit and then we can browse, go to our desktop and choose our .crt file extension. Then click open, upload certificate and we're good to go. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, follow, share, subscribe, the whole gambit and leave a comment below with what you want me to cover in my next video.